Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a session whereby we are going to interact and also learn together. We are going to have our mathematics form 1, which is lesson 6, uh, whereby your tutor will be me, Mr. Jaron. We are going to handle the topic on algebraic expressions. Uh, but before that, we can have the following lesson objectives, whereby you will be required uh, by the end of the lesson to simplify a given algebraic expressions and you also identify both like and also unlike terms. Welcome. Let us first start with the like terms. Uh, for example, the like terms, we can have 3x plus 3x. Remember, here yeah, the common uh, term is the x. So that <laughs> it will be simple for us to add 3x plus 2x. So we are going to get 5x. Another like term, we can have 4e plus uh, 9e. Whereby we are going to get 9, uh, 13e. So that is for me, our e is a common uh, or is a like term. We can have 4t plus 2t minus 14. These are common terms because the t is common, all like terms. Uh, we are going to get 5 plus 2 is 7 minus uh, 4 to get 3t. Uh, let us look something on unlike terms whereby, um, for example, you might be required to get 3a plus 2b. Now, this one will be very difficult because we don't have any like terms. We, here, uh, we have uh, different um, terms. We have a and b. So it will be a, a challenge for us to add A and B. Some people might confuse and start getting a 3 plus 2, which is very wrong. So these are called unlike terms and they just leave them uh, as they are because they have got no uh, any solution. We can have another unlike term, which is a 6A plus 8D, whereby we have unlike terms, which, is, which are A and D. Also, another uh, example of unlike term is 2X plus 4Y minus B. Here the unlike terms are x, y, and also b. Unlike terms cannot be simplified further. That is something that we should uh, not. Let us now go down and we simplify algebraic expressions. The first algebraic expression that we are simplifying is 8w plus 3p plus 2w plus p. Here what we are going to do, we are going to group the like terms together. And in our case, the like terms are w and p. So uh, the w's we put them on one side and the p's we put them on one side. So we're going to have our 8w plus 2w plus 3p plus 3p. Now let us get the like term that is 8w plus uh, 2w to get 10w uh, plus uh, 4p because that is 3 plus p. Our second algebraic expression that we're going to look at will be 2x minus 6y minus 4x plus 5z minus y. As I have said earlier, we group the like terms together. That is the x's on one side, the y's on their own, and also the z on their own. So we are going to have 2x minus 4x minus 6y minus y plus 5z. Here, uh, 2x minus 4x, we are going to get negative 2x minus 6y minus y, we are going to get uh, negative 7y. Remember, negative um, uh, under negative, we had but the... Um, the sign remains as negative. So negative 6y uh, minus y, we are going to get negative 7y, then uh, plus 5z. Uh, here we are being required to simplify the following expression that is a plus b over 2 minus 2a minus b over 3. What you normally do, you get the LCM of both the denominators, that is uh, the LCM of 2 and 3, and in our case the LCM is 6. So you get 6, you divide by 2 to get 3. So or whatever is uh, above 2, you multiply it by 3. And also 6 divided by 3, you get uh, 2. So whatever is above 3, you multiply it by 2. So uh, once you multiply, you are going to get 3a plus uh, 3b minus 4a uh, plus 2b or divided by 6. Remember the reason why we are having um, plus 2b is because negative 2. To negative, uh, when you multiply by a negative, you are getting a positive. So the final answer, we are going to group the like terms together. Remember, we are going to get 3a minus 4a plus 3b plus 2b. So 3a minus 4a, you are going to get a negative a plus uh, 3b plus 2b, you are going to get 5b, all divided by a uh, negative 6. Let us not ignore the, uh, the LCM because there is no equal sign. Uh, here you are being required to simplify 5a plus a plus 3a squared. Actually what you should do, uh, you should first collect the like terms together because 5a is very uh, easy, is possible for it to be added to a. 
So in this case, we are going to get 6a, 5a plus a to get 6a, but it cannot be added to 3a squared because a and a squared are unlike terms. So for the unlike terms, we say that uh, we just leave them uh, the way they are. So our final solution will be 6a plus 3a squared. Uh, we can have the following whereby you are required to put uh, 6a plus 6a in brackets. So here the common factor is 6. Here what we normally do in, term, uh, in the brackets, you look at a common factor. Remember in 6a and 6a the common factor is 6. So you can factor the 6 outside and we can have our a plus a. In the case of uh, 3 plus 6b, you can have a, have a common factor which is 3. So you, div uh, you divide by uh, 3. So 3 gets outside. You are going to have a 6 you divide by 3 to get 2b. So our final will be 3 into brackets a plus 2b. Uh, we can have 11c plus 3, 33b. Uh, we are going to look at a common factor. That is a factor that is dividing both 11 and also 33. So that is a common factor is 11. So we factor uh, the 11 outside. Having done and said that, uh, you are required to have the following activity whereby you should simplify a 2x plus 3 all divided by 3 plus x plus 2 all divided by 2. Uh, for more information in this lesson, you can refer to KLB, Secondary Mathematics Students Book 1, which is the 4th edition Nairobi Kenya Literature Bureau. And to get this lesson and uh, many more of our uh, mathematics lesson, you can send us an SMS to the number that is on our screen. Or you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Elimu TV, or our Facebook page, which is also Elimu TV, or you tweet us at Elimu TV underscore KE. Let us subscribe to all these channels and we shall enjoy more of our mathematics uh, lessons. Thank you.